His new podcast covers it all. UFOs, the Illuminati, the occult, and terrifying true tales of mystery. They call him the Pope of the Paranormal. And he's joining us, the host of Dark Air with Terry Carnation. Terry Carnation, welcome. What a delightful introduction. Thank you for having me. Oh, yes. you're so welcome. Terry, I know that you are world renowned, but for people that don't know Terry Carnation, tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, for the past 37 years, off and on, I have been hosting Dark Air, a late night AM paranormal call in show. And we uh, we take calls from all over the world, uh, like like was in the, like was mentioned in the introduction. People concerned about how a Bigfoot might be living in their basement, or or what it's like uh, dating a werewolf. Um, all kinds of uh, hilarious and touching supernatural calls. Mm, I see. Well, you know, there are so many podcasts out there. There is podcasts about celebrities and fashion and politics, but why the paranormal? There are podcasts about celebrities and fashion and politics? Oh, yes. I need to listen to some of those. <laughs> They're fascinating. Um, no, listen, some of the most popular podcasts are also about true crime and the paranormal and supernatural. Um, and frankly, I am to cash in. <laughs> I just you saw know, something these... flash here in the studio while you were well, talking. This, this, uh, this, this does, these amulets don't pay for themselves. Do you hear me? <laughs> So, uh, you know. Yeah, you got to make some money. I get it, Terry. I understand. Now, can you talk to the dead? Do I talk to the dead? No, y you see, I am not a medium. Um, I mean, size-wise, I'm an extra large. <laughs> but, um, but I'm not psychically a medium either. I'm neither a medium psychically or in my shirt size. But I'm a facilitator of conversation. I am the, the host with the most... Uh, who is open to all possibilities. How did I get the name, the Pope of the Paranormal? Yes. Well, um, I gave it to myself. But frankly, I prefer the Sultan of the Supernatural. Okay. Oh, there's a picture of me with a pig and me in a swimming pool, my friend's pool. I'm actually, I'm fairly sexy a little bit, I have to say. Oh, especially yes. there. Especially there. I mean, I don't, I don't, Terry Carnation, I don't think you heard me earlier, but as you were talking, and I don't know if this is some kind of weird thing that's happening, but I just saw a flicker of light right above my head as you were talking about the paranormal. Well, I'm open to that possibility. Um, there certainly are uh, forces at work in the world yeah. that are very interested in what I have to say. I think and, so. Uh, so I am often observed uh, in many mm. different ways, shapes, and forms. Yeah, I think it was when you, what, what was, what's the thing hanging around your neck? I think it was when you were rubbing that. This? Y yeah. <laughs> this contains my soul. Oh. And you take it everywhere with you? Everywhere. Now. You look a little bit like. Do you ever get a celebrity look alike? Um, you mean like George Clooney, something like that? Yeah. I was thinking Denzel. <laughs> oh, he's a very handsome man, a very talented actor. Mm -hmm. Yes. Maybe a little Mel Gibson, like Mel Gibson. Perhaps. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Huh. I'd like to be on one of these celebrity and fashion podcasts that you're talking about. There okay. you go, celebrity lookalikes, maybe. Why, yeah. who, who do you, who do you think I look like? <laughs> I, I really, oh, Russell Crowe, maybe. Russell Crowe? Oh, a slimmer Russell Crowe. He's gotten a bit too beefy. <laughs> oh, has he lately? With the, well, with the quarantine, you know, we all have gotten a little fluffy. A little fluffy is right. right. Yes, myself included. Yeah. Now, you have, you have extremely great celebrity luxurious hair. What, what is the hair routine, Terry? Thank you for noticing. Um... Yes, I have luxurious hair and a luxurious voice. For me, hair care is crucial. Um, I never wash it, and I comb each strand 2,000 times a day. Wow, 2,000 times a day, Val. Yeah, mm -hmm. you should try that, Ryan, because mm -hmm. you're kind of hair obsessed. Uh, let me ask you this, that we heard that you are currently looking for love, Terry Carnation. Is that true? Well, that's a bold statement. Um, 
I, my wife, I lost my wife several years back mm. um, and went through some very dark times. Um, mm -hmm. And when I say lost, I mean I literally lost her in, um, in Tijuana. Uh, it's, it's, a very, it's a very crowded city. It's not laid out on a grid like Chicago. It's very, very difficult to, to maneuver. Sure. But that was three years ago. And yeah. if, if she is still alive and if she's watching, Zelan, I love you, baby, and come home to me. But it's been a little while, and perhaps Terry could be looking for love in some of the wrong places and hopefully some of the right places. <laughs> yeah. um, I would love to date someone who's alive okay. Um, okay. and of the human species. So those are my two main criteria. So not a UFO? Not an alien um, and not someone spectral. I've no. tried that before. Hmm. How did that work for you? Well, she was very passive aggressive. Um, oh. This was a ghost that was haunting my house, a, a, a feminine ghost. Uh -huh. And um, would constantly, I would take out like a piece of chocolate cake out of the fridge and it would fall on the floor. And then a fruit bowl would float out and land on land on the kitchen table oh, yeah. and I would go to grab a beer and then the beer would fly across the room and all of a sudden a glass of water would appear oh, yeah. and um, so you know it's it's too communication is too difficult yeah what about music I, I see the guitar in the back there do you you play mm. the guitar do you sing I use the guitar as a in self-defense it's actually a weapon it's it's covered in razor blades oh wow yeah no I know you're a martial artist right well, I am a fan of capoeira. Which is what? That's the Brazilian dance art of self-defense. So who's, mm. who's been your favorite guest on your podcast so far? Well, um, there was a young woman uh, who called in recently, and she was dating a werewolf. Now, oh. she didn't really have a problem with this, but she had, it does bring up some, some more difficult and challenging issues. For instance, how to introduce the werewolf to her family. Sure. And uh, whether or not, if they have children, would the children automatically become werewolf? How does that work genetically speaking? Yeah. Right. But isn't you know? that tough to give advice to somebody on that? Well, I, I, I try and steer them in the right direction. I don't have all the answers. Sure. So I, um, I am merely a facilitator. I'm a, a lubricant. <laughs> right. You're all just right. facilitating the conversation. That's it. And just like you two, just like you two beautiful Chicagoans. That's right. All right, Terry Nation, thank you so Carnation. much. Carnation. Oh, Carnation. Terry Carnation. Terry Carnation. Well, Carnation. It's Carnation Nation. You can join the Carnation Nation if you'd like to, Windy City, <laughs> all of you. <laughs> Download the podcast. It comes out tomorrow. That's it. Okay, I'm Val? joining the nation of Terry Carnation. Thank you so much, Terry. Thanks for having me. All right. That interview is uh, definitely out there, right? Yes. Yeah. We'll be right back. <laughs> yeah, it was out there because that is our April Fool's joke to you. If he April looks familiar, Fools. that was Rain Wilson. Of course, he was one of the stars on The Office. He played Dwight. But what is not a joke is the podcast. Uh -huh. That's actually real. Yes, it is. And you can check out episode one of Dark After or Dark Air, excuse me, with Terry Carnation on Apple, Spotify, and wherever else podcasts are found.